Yeah. What do you think? Uh, probably with the special teams. I mean, when I sit back and and, and look at the game, um, I thought our effort was good. Um, you know, I, I thought our guys respected our opponent tonight, and <coughs> they're a good team, especially through the neutral zone and off the rush. They really come at you with speed, and I don't think we handled it great, but that's a tr that, that's that's a compliment to them. Um, but I thought our guys were engaged for the most part. I thought they were ready to go, and uh, I thought we executed at a pretty high level. So, but I think if it was one thing, it'd be the special teams and and probably the play of Chris Nell during that that key kill in the second period. <coughs> yeah, he seemed on it tonight for sure. Um, no. No, no better example than that. I think it was 2.47 left in the major when we took the minor. Um, he obviously made some huge saves. We talked a lot this year about you guys wanting to get guys in the goaltender space in front of the net when you're on the power play and get three deflectables. I think you guys did a pretty good job yeah. of getting guys. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. And this is a kid that challenges and wants to push out of his net, and we saw that. And, um, I, I, I thought overall, Ryan, we were just opportunistic around the other team's net. Obviously, Kevin Dufour got us going there with two big goals in the first period, and uh, we just uh, we just kind of carried on from there. I thought we had other chances, but we obviously scored enough, and I, I, I thought we were ready to score, ready to execute around their net, which at times we struggled with. And uh, how were you able to uh, get, get the offense chances and get back to uh, playing more where you went to be at? I think it was just having a bunch of guys playing you know uh, um, we've we've tried to focus on everybody all in and 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 do it for the team and those kind of things as of late and if things aren't really going our way let's not try to come apart or, or try to do it ourselves let's come together and stick to a plan I think that's what we did I, I think we stuck to a game plan I thought we were we were pretty good in the offensive zone for the most part uh, there was a bunch of cycle shifts where we were hard to handle down there. I think that creates opportunities. That not only does it create chances, but it creates power plays, which then creates chances. Uh, and then, like I said, I think we, we did a good job around their net. Is there a message on the bench when they're in the third they probably start getting called a little bit more? Or is it just well, yeah, no, the message is, is, is you know, um, watch yourself, watch each other, nothing stupid, you know, that kind of thing. I think it's probably the same message on their bench, but they're, they're 18 to 23 year olds or whatever, um, so there's there's a bunch of adrenaline flowing there, and they're competitive, both teams. So uh, you do the best you can to control the group, and and you tell them there's there's lots to play for. They've got lots to play for. So um, that that's the message. Pretty pretty pleased with the way you handled the last 10-15 minutes. Yeah, I, I, I was, I was. Um, again, we're a, I think we're a, we're an intense group when when we're right and I thought tonight for the most part we were right and that intensity sometimes boils over and, and they're an intense group and that intensity sometimes boils over but I, I thought uh, for the most part we handled ourselves pretty well. Setting aside playoff implications Chris can you talk about the importance of a game like this as you're getting ready for the tournament? Well I think it's a, it, it's, it's, it's really important um, we've all talked about you know the the struggles for consistency, the struggles at times to score goals. Um, we want to put two, three, four, five, six good days in a row together. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought today we, we, we did that. Today was a, another good day. Um, so I, I think it's uh, this time of year you want to play off momentum. You want to play off confidence. And, um, we, we need to continue to create those things for ourselves, and, and I thought tonight we did that. No, for sure. But again, I mean, the, the, the key thing in college hockey is to have a short memory, and um, I'm not downplaying the game. You know, we'll, we'll enjoy the, the, the result tonight and the way we played. Um, but there's still, there's still work to be done. And um, I, I, I think our leadership group is mature enough. And, and again, our focus is to enjoy today and, and, and take it for what it is and then put it aside when we go come back to work tomorrow and, and, and be good tomorrow. We, we, you know, there's lots to play for tomorrow night, obviously. Um, so, um, I, but I, 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 it's all part of building momentum and building as we, as we go into the postseason. Which 
each of those, or are they both messages? Is it the message of keeping this momentum playing well at both ends, or worrying more about the implications and things like that? Yeah, no, I, I think it's the first one. We just we, we, we want to play well. We want to play well. We want to play to our potential, play to our level in, in, in all three zones, in all situations, uh, power play, PK, whatever it is. Um, that's, that's always been the focus of our group. Uh, make sure the process is as good as we possibly can with, you know, 20 guys engaged both mentally and physically. And, and you know, that's always will be our, our number one focus and we'll let the rest of it take care of itself. And so we want to put a bunch of good, good days together. Will the results of the games tonight affect how you do your lineup tomorrow in terms of if you do play? Uh, I, I don't know that. I, I, it's, too, uh, it, it's too early to tell. I mean... I think there's 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 only a couple really that that would be potential uh, changes or whatever. Um, we'll uh, we'll address that tomorrow morning. I'll talk to the staff and we'll see. Um, we want to win a game based on what I just talked about with John. Um, keeping this momentum, keeping good karma, good confidence going, feeling good about how we're playing. Um, that's going to go into the, a big a big part of going into the decision who, of, of of who plays tomorrow night. Who gives us the best chance to win? And just to double check based on what you said earlier, when Lincoln Hill and Bedner didn't play tonight because they were hurt. Uh, Lincoln Hill is hurt. Bedner wasn't able to. He's back healthy, basically, but he, he his week of practice was only really only half a week of, of, of preparation, so he really wasn't part of the conversation. But he's not hurt anymore.